Hi there. So, talking about The Ultimate Guide to the Raider White Tarot by Johannes Freiburg and Even Evelyn Berger. So, looks like that. Um, 19 bucks in the US and 22 in Canada. Uh, I, after waiting a good, like, good few months for my library, finally got it out because I wanted to look at it because um, there was no copy set. Um, my books, any books are close to me to look at it. So I just wanted to look at it to see if it would be a good collection to my like spirit spiritual whatever you want to call it a book um portion of my bookshelf um so if symbolism is important not just um in tarot but in other pra parts of your practice, this could be a good addition um, to uh, your bookcase. Uh, but as the title suggests, it does go um, with the symbols in the Raider White deck. Um, there are some things um, at the beginning that I'm like, why did they put in like uh, 10 reasons for writing this book one people have often asked us to do so we would like to gather together the knowledge and insights which we have gained in the course of a quarter of a century and our work as tarot authors and conducting seminars not only the benefit for our readers but also for ourselves we like to write about tarot uh, life is too short to waste time on substandard interpretations. And then it goes on. Um, and they kind of have this theme of like 10, the top, like, top 10 list of, that goes for like the cards <coughs> as well, um, as I'll show. Um, so, um, the 10 best hero definitions. Um, 10 most important facts about tarot, 10 favorite ways for using a single card, um, the 10 most important rules for interpretation, um, that can be important, um, 10 useful tips for interpretation, see those two, mm, excuse me, I don't really mind. Um, so they have like the key terms of the major arcania. And then they have the ten most interpretations of the suits. Um, so then they go into the interpretation, important symbols interpretations. So like pretty much every book, they start with the Major Arcania. And they start off with interpreting the Magician first. And the Fool at the end, because I guess for some it is card 22, not zero. For me, it, the fool is card zero, not 22. But I, I guess to some it is 22. Um, then it goes into the wands. And then the cups. Yeah, they have, um, the queen first, then the king, knight, page, ace, and then they do um, one, two, ten. So it's 
swords, and then pentacles. And then they have the top 10 spreads. So uh, a little diagram on what the numbers represent. So you have like the three cards for the day, the oracle, a peek into the future, one, two, one, two. And tarot and astrology. I don't um, add astrology really. I don't think I like I don't bring astrology into tarot because to me that kind of complicates it more. I like I know people will like say that astrology and knowing like the Kabbalah and um, other certain other aspects are important to know about um, tarot but I can know, know of the symbols um, by um, just by reading this because I don't need, to, like to me, I don't need to learn a whole new system just to know what one little symbol means. But that's just me. Um, yeah, so, like to me, it is a good book. And like, it gets to the point um, within a few sentences. And then each card will have um below showing the whole card will have um basic meaning spiritual experience as the card for the day as a prognosis slash tendency for love and relationship relationships for success and happiness so for the world i'm going to use that as an example um for success and happiness don't just ask yourself what you want from the universe. Stop and think what the universe has given you and what it is asking you to do. So, that's kind of all that. that um, and they do have like a little interpretation of what's going on in the card. So, yeah. Um, so, this book does give good information and so I'm just l looking at some other stuff so um, page of wands so the size of the wand so the staff is taller than the figure the impulse larger than the person a sign of immaturity but also youth but points to the future is longer than what has been so far for those who are young at heart. Um, the pyramids, a sign of wisdom and science mystery and the proximity of the gods proceeding according to planned spiritual activity. Also grave robbers, plunderers of the pyramids, generally a symbol of coming to a point, energy transformation and neutralization. Also peak experiences and high points. Task of rising lowering, bringing together on a new level. So they have two interpreta interpretations of um, the pyramids in the back of the wand. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> and I've gotten about 10 minutes talking about this, but yeah, uh, to sum up, it is good, quick to the point of uh, what certain things in the card means. So, if you want to go more than um, what your intuition says about what's going on, say, in the card, or about the question being asked in the situation, this is a good book. Um, this is good to get if you want to know um, what, say, the two standing cups um, and the five cups mean. Or what um, the, uh, the what 
the quote unquote black figure could mean. So they have like three interpretations of what he could mean. So, yeah, and uh, I'm likely going to be getting my own copy of this, so, yeah. So there's my review on the ultimate guide to the Raider White Tarot, and uh, I'll just show it up once again. Yeah, I know the image flips. It's being flipped right now. That's what you get for using the webcams. But anyway, uh, thank you for listening to my rant about rant rambling of the book. So anyway, I'm going to stop now before I go. <laughs> Happy readings. <laughs>